Hi, my name is Prakash and I'm going to be talking about building a compiler for a quantum system. Quantum computers are composed of quantum bits or qubits. Qubits can have a zero or one value like classical bits, but they can also be in a superposition state. It's a special combination of these two values. Current quantum systems have a small number of noisy qubits. This means that the operations or gates which can be applied have high error rates. Because of noise, quantum programs are run multiple times. The fraction of runs which produce the correct answer is called the success rate of an execution. When we started out building a compiler for a 16 qubit system from IBM, we noticed that the success rates of our programs changed quite dramatically every day. Why does this happen? It turns out that the different qubits in the system have different error rates. Not only that, these error rates also change daily. In fact, many properties of the system which are important for program performance change frequently. The key idea behind our work is to execute programs using the best available hardware resources. To do this, our compiler uses noise data to maximize the success rate of a program execution. It maps the program qubits onto the most reliable hardware qubits, it uses the best routing paths, and it executes gates as soon as possible. We compared the performance of our compiler to the Quizkit compiler. Quizkit is a widely used compiler developed by IBM and provided as the default for their systems. Our compiler obtains a 3x improvement in program success rate with up to 18x on some benchmarks. This means that we have a significantly better chance of executing programs correctly and extracting the best performance offered by noisy hardware. Although current quantum systems are small, they are soon expected to scale to a size where quantum is more powerful than classical computing. Tools like ours, which significantly improve program success, will be a key to accelerating the progress towards large-scale quantum. To know more about our work, please attend our talk in the quantum computing session at ASPLOS on April 17th at 2pm. See you there.